Now, this last question comes in from Transform X, and he was asking this question on our WD MyCloud Plex backup video we did the other day. He's wondering if I'll do a similar one for Synology, and yes, I will right now because it's a lot simpler. Uh, so let me back out of our little presentation here and show you uh, where Plex is stored on your Synology disk station. Uh, so here we have my disk station and all the file shares, and you'll see that we've got one here called Plex. And what happens when you install Plex on Synology is that it creates a file share just for the Plex server to operate from. And they tell you in here not to place any media files in this share because this is strictly used for managing the Plex database. And if you click over here on the library folder that will be in that Plex share and go over to application support, you'll see that's that Plex media server that we were backing up in that video. And we've got all the stuff that you need to back up in order to keep your Plex database safe. And what you could do here is add this Plex share to your Hyper Backup, for example, if you're using Hyper Backup. You could add it to the USB copy utility that they have. You could send it off to the cloud. Anything that you can do normally on your Synology device with a file share, you can do with Plex here because, again, it puts it in a place where users, including the administrator, can get access to it the normal way. You could even just use your Windows or Mac computer to copy it over the network if you wanted to. Uh, one thing you'll need to check, though, is after that directory gets created, is just go over to Properties and Permissions and make sure that the user that you're using on your Synology device has access to that folder. Uh, so you can see the admin user here has read and write control along with the Plex user as well. Uh, so just look for that, and once you apply that and uh, go from there, you should be able to do all of the backups you want without having to do all the other things that we made a 14-minute video about there. So Synology does do it a little bit easier than others. Now, in that video, I referenced a couple of support documents that you might want to take a look at for backing up and restoring your data. And they also have a link on the support document to another page that has a list of all of the different platforms that Plex supports and where your Plex media server files will be stored on that particular device. So check it out and make sure you start backing things up because it really isn't something that is clear to the user that you can back these things up. There's no feature within Plex to back up the metadata. So this is the way you do it. And definitely check it out because it is a lot easier on other platforms. In most cases, you just drag the files off and you're done. And Transform here also suggested maybe doing a video about switching file system types on Synology. Unfortunately, that is not that easy because you do have to move your data off and then reformat the drives. But I do have a project here in the studio that I want to get going at some point, uh, which is to move off of my older Synology disk station to a new one. Uh, because the new one I have supports BTRFS, which my old one did not. Uh, so to get that file system, we're going to have to back up the entire uh, NAS, every single bit of data on it, and then restore it over to the other one. Uh, so we're going to look at a couple different ways of doing that in that video, or maybe show the best way. And in preparation for that, I would love to get your thoughts as to the best way to do it. My gut is to do a massive hyper backup backup uh, from that drive to an external drive and then plug that external drive into the new Synology. Uh, but if there are other ways to do it that I'm not thinking about, do let me know because I do want to bring in all the apps that I'm running as well and really just have a turnkey kind of migration here. And I'd love to hear your experience with that down in the comments below. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Mike Talbert, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.